But anyway, back to what I was saying. In both scenarios, it involves a partner trying to assert their value uh, within the relationship. Just speaking on the fact of I take care of you and the kids and you seem ungrateful, all these types of things are seen as abuse. But in both of these scenarios, with a woman's voice and her value and a man's voice and his, they're essentially saying, I'm contributing a lot to our lives together and it feels hurtful when my contributions are overlooked or minimized. This is a natural human reaction when someone feels like they're giving a lot but receiving little acknowledgement in return. So don't make their response abusive. Okay, when you complaining wasn't abusive, them responding to it by asserting their value is not abusive, family. That's crazy. The importance of communication, instead of viewing these expressions as abusive, it's more constructive to see them as opportunities for deeper communication and understanding of your partners. These moments highlight the need for both partners to feel valued and appreciated. The key is to respond to these frustrations with empathy and understanding rather than defensiveness uh, or further criticisms. Jamie, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to say, uh, baby, you never take me out no more. You never show me attention anymore. And I want you to imagine, I just came home from work, right? I'm tired, boss been on me all day, okay? I'm tired, right? Just, I want you to say that to me real quick. Just, you ain't gotta get in front of the camera, just tell me that. Uh, I never take you out anymore. I never show you attention. It's been six months since I took you out. You never take me out anymore. You never show me attention. It's been six months and you never do anything. Man, do you know how much I'm going through at work? You see me working all these hours overtime. You need to recognize that I'm doing all these things for our family. And when I come home, I got to hear you complaining about how often I take you out. Man, I'm sick of this shit. I'll be home in a little while. See how I didn't hear anything that you said. And I'm blaming you for bringing me complaints while I'm going through something instead of hearing that you want to spend time with me, man. Now, in that moment, you sounded angry, right? This time, I want you to sound really sad, but say the same thing. Baby, you never take me out anywhere. Damn, babe, don't you see me trying? Don't you realize everything I'm doing is for the family? And these last six months, haven't we been struggling financially? This is why I'm working all this overtime. Taking you out will require me to spend more money that I don't have. You should be grateful. See, I still didn't actually hear you, did I? Now pretend you heard me. Baby, I do understand that you have to work all these hours. You're absolutely right. Forgive me for making that an issue. Neither one of us got what we needed there. So what should happen is, if you say the thing you said and I say the thing I said, both of us should have an understanding for each other. Even though I'm working all these hours, you still wanna spend time with me, right? So what I could say is, hey baby, what, you, what I could say is, let's set a date then. Now watch this guys, watch this. Same complaint, come to me absolutely upset, right? You're, you never spend time with me. It's been six months since you even took me out, right? I feel like I'm not even noticed, say that to me. Ever took me out. We don't do anything, and oh my gosh. You know what, baby? I understand. How about we set a date? Right now, funds ain't where they should be because I'm trying to work extra so we can cover these bills. It's tough times, but maybe we can go out to, to a picnic or something like that that doesn't cost money. How does that sound to you? Okay, let's set a date and let's go out and have a good time. And I apologize if, if, I, if I haven't been paying attention to you. I just been overwhelmed with a lot on my mind. Now, that same thing, because two people know how to communicate, or at least one person does, it leads to something that's effective, family. So when I say you guys need to learn how to communicate with each other, you really do. That could be the difference in between life and death of your relationship. Do you understand? If somebody's complaining about you taking them out, what they're trying to say is, I miss you and I want to spend time with you. Now, watch this. Jamie, instead of saying you never spend time with me, it's been six months since I saw you. Instead, I want you to say, hey, babe, I really missed our times going out. I felt on top of the world. Uh, I felt noticed and seen. I would like to do that again soon. Can we set a date? Try that. Hey, babe, I really miss our times going out. I enjoy spending time with you. I enjoy our dates. Can we set a time to, to go out this summer? You know what? Absolutely. I miss you, too. Yeah, I love setting those. I love doing that. I guess it's, I just... Time got away from me because I've been working so much. But yeah, now you saying that, man, I actually missed that too. So yeah, let's set a day. How about, um, you know, I have to work, I've been having to work every weekend. 
but how about on Tuesday? They're giving me Tuesdays off. You want to go out and do something on Tuesday? Yeah. Boom. Now, listen, going to your partner critically may bring the worst out of them. But just going to them and saying actually what it is that you need and being vulnerable may bring the best out of them. So your goal as a husband or wife is to motivate your partner and inspire them to want to do something for you, not make them feel guilty for failing to do something for you.